That's a news watch. You know, the, there is absolutely no mystery to me that trust in the media is now rock bottom. You just look, just for one, for the me mainstream media's coverage of Donald Trump. Now, Trump, I'll give you just the latest example, right? Trump has said, look at these illegal immigrants that Vice President Kamala Harris has led in as the border tower under President Joe Biden. Some Venezuelan gangs, he pointed out, had taken over whole housing complexes by, by armed force and then, you know, let other people in and made them uh, pay rent to them. You look now at how one host of America's ABC tried to attack Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, for daring, for Trump daring to make this scandal a big deal. People are terrified by what has happened with some of these Venezuelan gangs. Sen Senator and Vance, I'm going to stop you because I know exactly what happened. Martha. I'm going to stop you. The incidents were limited to a handful of apartment complex, uh, apartment complexes. Only, Martha, do you hear yourself? Only a handful of apartment complexes in America were taken over by Venezuelan gangs, and Donald Trump is the problem, and not Kamala Harris's open border. Unbelievable. By the way, J.D. Vance, he is going places. But only a few apartments. Why is Trump making a fuss about it? Well, how about these headlines now on stories today about Trump's latest rally where he played some songs? Uh, you know, they say, oh, look, but Trump appears lost, confused and frozen on stage as multiple songs play for 30 plus minutes or Trump's bizarre music session reignites questions about his mental acuity. And you know what happened, what actually happened? Trump stopped talking when two people had medical emergencies in the audience and were treated in front of them. Trump stopped speaking out of respect. A doctor, please. Doctor, thank you very much. The chief, he was great. And if they could play Ave Maria, if you can get it, Justin, let's go if you can. And then the crowd had such a good time that he thought, he first asked them, shall we play more? Shall we play more? Oh, yes. OK, then let's play some more music. And those two people that went down are patriots and we love them. Yes. And because of them, we ended up with some good music, right? Right? So play YMCA. Go ahead. Let's go. Nice and loud. Here we go, everybody. I felt like I was sitting in a, in a room with him, just him. I could have I could have been here another hour, another two hours. Uh, it, was just, it was just great spending time with uh, the president. The crowd loved it. All OK. Trump totally in charge. But that's what Kamala Harris herself in a tweet and her team and the media sold people as proof that Trump was actually going gaga, losing it. And the media wonders why so many people now don't trust a word they publish. Joining me on Newswatch is Sophie Ellsworth, media writer for the Australian newspaper. Sophie, you've got some local news for you that I want to catch up on. But just quickly, the coverage of Donald Trump so often seems like organised lying by the media. Now, why would that be? Well, I think in America, a lot of the media, Andrew, is left-leaning and let's be frank here, they do not want to see Donald Trump win the upcoming presidential election. So they are going to do what they can to try and make him look uh, like an idiot. And there's just many examples that you just gave. Now, look, I don't really like his dancing style, Andrew, but Americans are not <laughs> silly and they can see through this. And also the attack on J.D. Vance there by that ABC host was just extraordinary. She did not uh, put herself in a good light there at all, Andrew. So I thought she did her credibility some serious harm there. But we will see more of this, particularly because there are many undecided voters and the election is getting closer and closer. Look, honestly, if there are still people are believing the uh, stories today, some printed in Australian newspapers, to a shame, uh, that Trump uh, wasn't totally in control and actually giving the crowd exactly what they wanted in, with a confidence that Kamala Harris could never, ever have, 